far as the technique, I don't do swamps every day. The next painting will be completely different. So that's why it took forever <laughs> to figure out how to do all of the different pieces of this. Initial name was Heronbrook, keeper of the bridge. I looked at this as a, a conquistador back in the 1400s, looking through the swamps of the Everglades and walking into, and just seeing this keyboard there. <laughs> I go, what is this? I go, maybe that was the, the fountain of youth that they were hunting. I drew it out in pencil first was sketching and laid out the laid out all the keys and stuff and then laid out the um, all the trees but I didn't do any of the bottom of the trees I just did the tops of the trees and because I saw more of a gold that I wanted to pull off here and I worked with gold for a long time a lot of a lot of yellow tones and I looked at it and it was shining through the paper and it looked like this whole light was shooting down on it and I go I wonder if I could do that so pulled it off and started trying to draw in the light from the morning sun. And it was, uh, I go, wow. And then so when I did that, once I know where the light was hitting, I could brighten that up, but I had to continually darken and darken and darken everything around it to create the backside where the shadows were hitting on the trees and still having enough light, just barely enough light to where you could actually see the bottom of the cypress trees. See those arches underneath? If you just stuck on one of those spots, it'd look like it's in a church. With a lot of stained glass windows, stained glass windows and long, long pedestals. You know, beams holding up the church roof. I don't know why I saw the, the, the Everglades on the back of the upright piano and it just became more and more peaceful and I think maybe that's what we need a little bit right now is peace and stillness tacit life out a little bit 